Well, we finally got our answer. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and today I'm going to talk about the big announcement. It's official. It's finally happened. LSU names Will Campbell, number seven, and Makai Wingo, number 18. Um, before I get into this video for everyone, um, if you want to find ways to contact me, get at me, or reach me, and other information, I'm going to have all that down in the description box. So y'all go down in that description box um, and highlight at your bar, yo. Um, will Campbell will be credited, well, won't officially, officially, but be credited with number seven. Uh, the playmaker number and Makai Wingo will be credited with number 18, you know, the the fearless leader number, however you call it. I'm not going to lie, I'm very surprised. <laughs> now, look, shout out to those guys. Those are two really good players for us. Um, they expected to do a lot of things. Both are preseason first team all SEC selections, so they expected to have big seasons um, with Will Campbell over there at left tackle. Um, coming in as a freshman last year from uh, from Neville and just really um, solidifying himself at that left tackle position. Um, and Makai Wingo, um, a transfer we got from Missouri that we didn't we didn't know what to expect from. And with the Mason Smith injury last year, um, stepped up and was really really good for us. You know, and got us excited about you know um, the pairing of Mason Smith and Wingo on the interior whenever Smith returns from his suspension. Um, I am surprised though for for both of them honestly. Uh, for the Will Campbell one. Now, we do understand that um, some I just recently found out that I didn't really know. Um, number seven actually now goes to a player from Louisiana. Um, so, you know, when you factor in that, it's like, okay. Um, now, I remember when Leonard Fournette came to LSU. He was number seven, like, all three of his years as a true freshman. But, you know, that was Leonard Fournette. <laughs> Leonard Fournette was, like, the biggest recruit that we got in, like, a long time. Uh, he was expected to come in and be dominant, so I get that. Um, but after that, I, I, I thought number seven would mostly go to somebody who, you know, you expect was going to probably be their last season with the team, you know, because of NFL draft prospects or something. You know, guys like Derek Stingley and Jamar Chase and Grant Delpit, you know, um, people like that, you know, in the past. But uh, it goes to Will Campbell, a true sophomore. Um, I do like the, the – the, what I do like about it is the offensive lineman twist. You know, I do like that um, we're recognizing that an offensive lineman is, is a very vital part of this team. They are the most by far underappreciated position in all of football. Um, you know, a lot when the quarterback looks good, a lot of the credit goes to the quarterback. When the running back looks good, a lot of the credit goes to the running back. But um, you really know, you really, really talk about them when they're bad, you know. But, um, you know, so Will Campbell gets it. Now, he can't officially wear it um, because, you know, I'm not aware, allowed to wear it. But he will wear it, from what I understand, some type of patch or something like that saying, hey, I'm, I'm LSU's number seven. Um, look, like I got shot like Will. Will did a really good job for us and is, is, is always make me sleep better at night when I know I have a left tackle that's going to protect the quarterback's blind side. Um, but, you know, I thought somebody like if, if we're going to go uh, go that route, I thought somebody like Malik Neighbors could have got it, you know, um, just because he's the number one receiver and he's expected to be really, really good this year. Um, but, you know, no hate, no Will. Um, obviously, I love him as my left tackle, so... You know, that's that. But I thought Malik Neighbors would have got it. Um, and then the other the other number, the number 18 with Makai Wingo, um, I, I was shocked about that one as well. Uh, I thought that would have gone to, like, Josh Williams. I thought he was – or maybe even Major Burns, um, especially Josh Williams because he's 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 went the walk uh, – uh, the walk – you know, the – can't even talk today, the – Walk on route. <laughs> I'm sorry, the walk on. I was about to say walk off like it's baseball. He went the walk on route, and he's been a solid contributor to this team the last uh, last couple years, especially last season. Um, 
you know, and he's the leader of that running back room, you know, um, not the most talented guy, but got the biggest heart. And for me, that's what I thought number 18 um, ultimately stood for. But, you know, um, I didn't remember Makai Wingo. Um, it was a little surprise, not only that, because he was only there for one year. <laughs> like, he transferred in from Missouri. But, I mean, you know, he's had a really good year last year, and, Obviously, none of us are there at practice and, and, and on campus to really see the impact, you know, that these guys all have. So, um, you know, I get I, I understand it. Um, you know, both players love both players, expecting big things out of both players. But for me, I was just a little surprised. I thought it would have went to like Malik Neighbors and Josh Williams. But um, there we have it, man. LSU's number seven and number 18 going into this season where we expected to um, have a really good season. Uh, but with that being said, yo, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a follow. I'm going to have LSU, NCAA, and content on my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.